two years ago, my husband and I moved into a rather small apartment. She's 500 square feet and she does not have a lot of storage. So we've been forced to get creative. Like seriously, not even a broom closet. Stay tuned for where we've stashed our vacuum cleaner for the last 24 months. As a result of this living situation, I am just chock full of ideas that you can optimize your space and organize your small apartment. So fear not, we've got this. My first and biggest piece of advice is to buy furniture that doubles as storage. If I had to do it again, I'd definitely get more of this. All I can say is when you live in a small space, you do not have the luxury to buy a cute little table for your living room that does not double as a drawer full of vacuum cleaner attachments and miscellaneous household supplies. You do not have the luxury. Some ideas are a couch that can be lifted up to reveal a hidden storage area, a hollow ottoman that stores, using Alex drawers as nightstands, as end tables for your couch, or as the legs of a desk. These ones in particular just have so much storage. I don't know what I do without them and if I needed more storage I would definitely have these in more places because they just create a lot of space for random things. When you buy nightstands, don't buy ones with tiny little drawers. Buy ones with big spacious drawers like these. Get a TV stand that has hidden cabinets. Buy a small nightstand instead of a table for your living room or entryway. A standalone cabinet. Looking back, we probably could have put the vacuum in there, but we didn't. Instead of the standalone cabinet, you could also do a bookshelf, which is great as well. But personally, I like the clean look that the cabinet gives. You can hide all of your random junk in there. All of it. And no one will ever know. It's wonderful. My next tip kind of goes hand in hand with the first, but it's to decorate with storage solutions. This can look like decorative baskets that secretly stash your workout gear. Storage boxes that can hold anything from bed sheets to bathing suits to power tools and even hollow coffee tables. I actually got really lucky and found these ones at Home Goods, and they were the perfect size to fit over my five gallon water jugs. Before the water jugs were just sitting on the patio looking hideous. Now they're covered and it even doubles as a stand for my fire bowl. Pretty and practical. In the bathroom, I highly recommend installing shelves like these. These are great because instead of having an ugly tension pull or something similar, they just stick right onto the wall and you can really put as many as you want. We just have two because that's all we need, but it really cleans up the bathroom, creates more space. And one of the best things that you can try to do when trying to fit more things into a smaller space is to not only think about how you can use the space horizontally, but also vertically. And that's exactly what these do which carries over into my final tip, which is use all the available space. And usually that means using spaces that you wouldn't even think about if you lived in a bigger home with more storage. This can look like storage boxes slid under the bed. We have a shelf on top of our closet that we use to showcase decorative storage boxes. But if we didn't, I could definitely see us getting a large shelf and doing a similar thing on top of the wall, or maybe even a storage cube. We use shoe racks for stacking shoes. Suddenly you don't just have this much space, you have this much space times four. And then we put things behind the shoe racks like sewing machines and workout mats. When we're not traveling, we use our duffel bags to store throw blankets and also stuff them behind the shoe racks. Out of sight, out of mind, am I right? And we have a smaller shoe rack on the top of our closet shelf to organize hats and purses. Again, it's just creating more surface area for you to neatly organize things rather than a big pile or even a neatly lined row that would take up double the space of that shelf. When we're not using our fan, I put it behind the laundry hamper to hide it away and to hide our phone chargers, I put a picture. Every little bit matters. This will look different for every space, but you just have to look around your own house be strategic, get a little bit creative, and make the most of what you have. All right, now to answer the question on everyone's mind. Without a broom, hall, or walk-in closet in sight, where or where do we store our vacuum cleaner? This was such a predicament when we moved in and I was very stressed. But my husband had the idea to buy a smaller fridge that could be pushed over to the side. We had to buy a stick vacuum 
so that we could store it along with our broom and wet jet mop out of sight and out of mind in between the fridge and the wall. It was one of our proudest moments. The creativity on those two, you gotta love it. But my point is the smaller the space, the more creative the solutions. Living in a small space does force you to be more careful about the things that you bring into the house and more purposeful with the things that you get rid of, but it can be done and you can make it look beautiful too. But in order to do that, you really need to watch my next video on how to decorate a small apartment right here. Hit that subscribe button for more videos on simpler living, biblical femininity, and the art of homemaking. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in my next one.